everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the last day on our survival day return. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and today we got quite some interesting stuff that we got in store for y'all, including the thing that I am most excited for, a new event that we got to go ahead and showcase a little bit that has been revealed. But first things first, you guys know the drill. There's a lady. Her name is Jane. She has broken my heart. Probably 30 times in a row at this point. We want one thing from Jane. It is this marvelous skin, a Leviathan skin for our chopper to be able to rock it. But no, she isn't interested. However, every time we go over here and get disappointed by her, the good news is, is that we get one step closer to getting the skin guaranteed because eventually she's going to run out of other perks to give us and she literally needs to give us the perk. So maybe today will be that glorious day or maybe today will be yet another day of disappointment. But there's been quite a little bit of heartbreak luckily like i'm saying the other parts of today's video regardless of what jane does to us today oh baby let me just say the other parts of this video they should be bringing a smile to yo and my face quite a little bit but you know what at this point i'm prepared for the disappointment i know that jane's probably not gonna give us what we want because she she hates my guts however i keep on coming back so partially my problem you know but at the end of the day hey i want it and i'm gonna do my best to get that freaking leviathan skin so you know Let's not even drop likes on this video to try and convince Jane to give us the skin. Instead, drop a like on this video. One like is one prayer for me and my broken heart. <laughs> and all the heartbreak that I got to get through with Jane. However, the good news is, wait, how much does our volume go up to? Because we're at level 10 and it doesn't say max level yet. Does the volume just keep on going up because our chopper literally has 250 storage for fuel now, which is, by the way, insane. I love the fact that that's a thing, but with today's unfortunate heartbreak out of the way, let's get something that's going to be lifting our spirits quite a little bit. And that is this. What you guys and gals are seeing over here was posted by Kafir on all of their socials with the caption. Today's a great day for a tiny spoiler of the second season and what you are seeing is very interesting because at first glance a lot of people and i actually saw this a lot in some other information because kafir actually the last day on earth devs they did reveal a little bit more information as well that we are going to be breaking down in response and reply to a couple people that were you know uh commenting on this post over on their facebook but a lot of people seem to think that this is the witch event of some sort and while yes it does look very similar to the witch event it has actually been confirmed and we will talk about this a little bit later it has been confirmed that this is not actually the witch event so what we are seeing appears to be either added in into another area of the game or going to be something entirely new and the obvious focus of this video is this weird freaking bulging gassy thingy mabob that likes to fart in every direction it's like the freaking uh, that one boss in the basements that farts out his stomach it's like him, except it farts in all directions. It's absolutely horrifying, but it does appear like it's going to be at some sort of a location and it will be triggered by running past this thing. And the, well, that's about all that we know. I, we don't know if this is going to be something that we can actually attack, if this is going to be something that we could maybe destroy, kind of like the similar things. We're actually going to go show this off at the witch event today because we'll go on over there and kind of compare and contrast a little bit with this as well. And maybe if we'll have the opportunity to destroy these similar to the things over at the witch event that we can destroy that kind of do have this similar like infected spewing thingy mabob going on except without the gas spewing in every direction instead it's kind of similar except it freaking poops out crawlers whenever you fight the witch but this does make things interesting and make me wonder with this whole infected nature and very much so similarities to the witch if there's going to be a new type of infected boss coming that might be like an entirely new model of some sort or just something entirely new that we might be able to face off against and this will be kind of like available at that location kind of similar to how the witch has the thing Things that spawn the crawlers maybe whatever's at this location because you can even see the freaking like uh, like uh, collected up like people or person just like uh, connected to the tree dude it's horrifying it's something that we've actually seen at the witch event as well which makes me think that this is going to be some sort of a location that either kind of has to do with the witch or is some sort of another very powerful zombie boss that we are going to get to go and face so without further ado boom let's go ahead and start diving into some of the other information that kafir did kind of divulge throughout this so over here someone asked so is the the second season going to be witch related and i can't really show it because it's a gif and this is a screenshot but it's a gif of last on earth being like eh, 
not really. Like, they're pretty much kind of hinting towards the fact that this isn't going to have to do with the witch, which is kind of something with some other stuff that we were talking about. Boom! What we're seeing over here is someone saying a new different type of infected forest, a new boss or something like that. Like, what could this be? And Last Down Earth is pretty much saying that this is actually going to be an entirely new type of event. So that's very interesting to know. And I hopefully it is a permanent event and not a temporary one. Like, dude oh my god like the shipwreck event i hate the fact that it was temporary because all like a lot of stuff that happened in season one is now gone it's like a statue it's gone forever and we can't do anything about it like i am so upset by that i really hope that they do have some more long lasting changes and if they do add in new areas that they are more permanent and there's gonna be some encouraging news about that a little bit later but for now boom what we're seeing here is someone saying oh this is gonna be another disappointment to the atv updates and pretty much just saying like give us the atv update already and last day on earth pretty much says that We'll clarify what's coming next tomorrow, meaning that we should be getting a new release of information tomorrow as well that has to do with what we are seeing over here. And it, I like the way that they're wording this, where like Beneth Arthur over here is focusing a lot on the ATV, and last time there's just kind of like saying, oh, we'll clarify what's coming next is that maybe this somehow is going to connect with the atv potentially there's going to be a boss over here that we'll be able to battle and potentially that boss's loot for example will be the transmission there's some other stuff later on that might kind of connect with that boom what we're seeing over here is someone saying that oh again just like you know give us the atv give us the swamp already keep on saying the good word man because i want the atv and swamp already too and last on earth says over here someone said these features are not under development question mark and then this little eye emoji making it seemed like uh, there might be something something that they're not saying that hopefully will be coming in that information release tomorrow when they're kind of going to be clarifying things so i'm crossing my fingers that this somehow does relate to the atv atv transmission and or swamp in some way shape or form in season two and boom here we are seeing someone talking about actually just kind of like what they thought of season one and how this will hopefully carry over into season two and he's pretty much saying what i think all of us like felt with the season it was way too grindy the rewards were not that great and especially the rewards for the final boss of the season was just a big bone which does have a use christopher does get it wrong you can't actually use it for some pretty powerful melee weapon mods but that is literally it and then at the end he asks are we gonna get new locations in season two or will it be the same as season one to which last downer says no it's gonna be different which makes me think that a couple of things hopefully especially from some of the stuff that we went over in last video where they're gonna be taking a lot of feedback from season one and trying to improve the rewards and make the tasks less grindy but also on top of that for what last on earth is saying here hopefully along some of the other stuff that we heard a little bit earlier in this video there is going to be a more permanent lasting legacy with season two and I'm crossing my fingers with what we saw from some of the other ones. It is going to give us a massive step of some sort towards the ATV. And even if we can't necessarily assemble the ATV yet, maybe like we got to like bring it to Jane or something and she'll assemble it for us. If they could at least add a way to get this freaking ATV transmission, man, can we at least get that last down on earth? And I'm really hoping that this new location will somehow tie into that, especially with from some of the other stuff that was being said over here. But with that said, with that done, that is the information that we got for y'all for today coming from last down earth coinciding with the sneak peek into season two that definitely raises more questions than it does give answers and i'm very interested to see where this freaking giant like lump that's what i'm gonna call it the farting lump where this farting lump is gonna be coming into play because like it's not gonna be over here at the witch and if i can like not have the witch attack us this is what i was talking about and i feel like some people got it mixed up and you guys can see that this actually looks pretty similar to that thing that we are seeing over in that little gif however it looks like it kind of like grew up in the middle a little bit more and it kind of like spouted upwards and then they've kind of said that like oh this doesn't have to do with the witch though which makes me think that like maybe we'll be able to like that'll be like a more advanced crawler hive or something like there's gonna be definitely more questions raised and hopefully some of these questions will be answered tomorrow from what they were saying where they're gonna be diverging more info about it but with that said with that done that's gonna wrap it up for the info and a little bit of a sneak peek and kind of not sneak peek but i guess kind of relation and comparison compared over here to the infected forest which has a lot of similar features such as the floor you guys can see it kind of does have the same kind of like different ground covered by like infected God knows what, it doesn't look good. And there should even be a couple of trees over here. I will try and find like this one over on the left, the Hello Witch. You guys can actually see this one, for example, that does have that same type of like body. So 
definitely interesting things. And when they did say that it doesn't have to do with the witch, I wonder if maybe the infected forest will actually get some sort of a revamp that maybe will like remove the witch somehow. I don't know. There's definitely a lot of different possibilities with how all this could be tying together. So let me know what y'all think about it in that comment section down below. I absolutely would love to hear from y'all down there and overall just kind of break down everything that we physically and possibly can about this and how it might relate to other things and tie in with season two, which from some other stuff that they were saying, I don't necessarily have screenshots of it right on me, but uh, long story short, Kafir is also saying a lot of stuff like, oh, you know, we are planning to have it out in September and oh, baby, please don't hurt me. Let's go and get a little bit of separation out of there. And you might be like, Star, why are you doing so much damage to the witch? Oh, that is because uh, I ate some super nutritious stuff today. Oh my goodness, dude. 159 with a critical. That's what I like to see. But, uh, oh, there's my old dead body from the naked boss challenge we were doing a little bit earlier. Oh, joy. That was, uh... That was, the witch is not a fun boss to fight naked, I will say. And now if we just go ahead and get these dudes lined up in a nice little uh, line. Let's go and get them, hopefully. I'm trying to get them like nice and lined up over here. Shotgun rain! And goodbye to mm, most of them. Hopefully they don't hit me too much. That's just, This is where the problems arise when you get a little bit too many hits piling on top of us because then our armor just disintegrates at an alarming rate, which I'm definitely not a fan of. Let me know what you guys think of this GIF and some of the other info and what your guys' thoughts are around it, how it might be relating, and what that new hive of farting lump, for a lack of better words, might actually end up being and how it might tie together with things. Our health was suspiciously low. If the witch used her power attack, she actually would have killed us in one fell swoop. That would have been bad. But go and let me know in that comment section down below. And reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly trial. I do such place. Store a gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure that like button. Make sure to subscribe. That'll ensure you win on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, we'll pick random video for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video. And that will be one up for the week. And we'll kick off the weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway. Not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on. Oh, goodbye to your arm, which not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well. That does help you guys stay in the loop on. If you guys like Last on Earth, great chance you'll be enjoying some of the other series going up like Miss Survival Ancestors. Uh, we just started playing Green Hell a little bit, which is surviving out in the freaking Amazon rainforest, dude. It is insane and shut good rain it's a you and here we should have the final wave the final swoop de doop of wolves and whatnot running up on us uh come on wolfie where are you because the wolves it's annoying the wolves are a little bit faster than the rest of the crawlers which does make our job a little bit of a pain hopefully our armor stays intact and let's see if we can't maybe get them to line up very nicely over here for a little bit of that thing i love known as uh come on line up a little bit nicer shotgun rain oh baby we got a ton of them with one fell swoop over there and now I just got to make sure I'll go ahead and use a band-aid really quickly. Bring ourselves back up to full health. But yeah, make sure to stay up the loop, up to date, up, up the loop. Is this a loop to loop? Is this a roller coaster? Up to date and in the loop with some of that other stuff because we are checking out some seriously other awesome survival games. And if you guys like Last Down Earth, great chance that you will be enjoying them. Not to mention, it's a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on Earth information as well, such as that which has come out today. Anytime any new info does come out about last day on Earth, we are spreading it to y'all eyes and ears absolutely ASAP, making sure that you guys know what this information means, what it looks like, how it... Oh, there's the old dead witch. That's horrifying. We got two of them. <laughs> what incarnation. But how it connects with everything, how it like all plays together. Can I shoot your arm off, witch? Just a genuine question. Can I do that, please? Shotgun rain. Can I please shoot the arm off? Shotgun rain. Oh man, even when I killed her, I only managed to shoot the head off. Dude, also, are the witch's dead bodies just gonna like stop despawning? Cause if so, this is gonna slowly become a graveyard of witches. And also another interesting change about the infected forest that like happened in one of the more recent updates, enemies stopped spawning here. Like, you know, there used to be random enemies like toxic abominations, toxic spitters, just scattered throughout before you initially got into that battle with the witch. Yeah, it's not a thing anymore, so I'm a little bit sketched out by that and how in Tarnation it could all tie together. And let's go and hit up the airdrop. Always happy to grab a little bit of loot when we can, and maybe a chopper event will appear as well before. Bum, ba -da bum, 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 bum. Player 7525 gets raided. We are still not getting revenge raids, dude. I, I, I don't know, man. I'm, <laughs> can I place a revenge raid game? Is this so much to ask? I want to put loot out for you to take, and then I go back and raid. Is this so much? Oh no, hello, shotgun rain. 
But yeah, we were doing a little bit of bonus damage throughout this battle as well because the healer visited us and he gave us my favorite, the 10% bonus damage to firearms, right up there with 20% bonus damage to melee weapons, which makes me a very happy camper and my shotgun in the rain, a very powerful shotgun rain. And let's see what we got in the airdrop. But yeah, notification bells are a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of info such as that, which released today as we relate it with other info that we know, other stuff within the game. And of course, let's freaking go. Engine part? and a saw blade oh baby this airdrop's looking good and i'm crossing my fingers that maybe 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 just maybe we are able to get mm, a chopper event up here that'd be pretty nice because there's a chance that they drop some pretty good guns come on i'm always looking for more guns baby no no not to today we could head on over to the oak clearing i don't know if i'm gonna necessarily harvest any oak while i'm there but we're up in this northern section. Why not? So, okay, we got to drive over there. That's a little bit disappointing. Honestly, let's run to the farm and then we'll drive over there. Maybe running to the farm will actually get the... Or maybe like all this running we're doing will also get that chopper event to spawn. Because no complaints from me if they manage to get it to spawn in. And yeah, oak event might be good as well. We do got to have a couple of iron hatchets. Although I was trying to save them for today's raid. Because we do need, after a little bit of research into it, a couple of iron hatchets to do what we are going to be wanting it's a do. But yeah, the notification bell is also a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of updates as well. It's Thursday type of new update does come out for Last Day on Earth. We are checking it out ASAP and showing off all that it has to offer. New weapons, new locations, new enemies, new anything. And when season two comes, oh baby, you betcha that we're going to be having a fun time showing off all that that has to offer. Doesn't matter how hard it is, how much of our loot that we got to blow through, or even if we got to drop some dollar reduce, I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit. I'm willing to risk it all and even make my bank account cry a little bit if it means that we can show off new things for y'all so then hopefully if any of you guys are thinking about like you know potentially purchasing like uh i don't know like a new crate that comes out or something right i'd rather show off to you guys like oh you know this is how the luck's looking you know is it really worth going after and even like for example if there's like a season pass kind of show off like some of the rewards you get how hard that they are because there's probably gonna be a season two pass as well and just overall hopefully i can be kind of like the guinea pig to show off how these things are and especially if there's like a new enemy or like a new tough thing that you got to do and let's say that it takes a lot of loot to to do i'll go ahead and do it so you guys can see oh is it worth sacrificing this much loot and hello we get to attack ourselves a little bit of a raider camp i love this version of the oak forest because well it actually comes with some pretty free oak so without further ado hello oh they're not even playing around they're not even playing around they're shooting me on sight this is not good this is not good they want me extra dead oh my god they're doing so much damage okay hold up uh the shotgun rain no i gotta heal i gotta heal oh those bad those bad those bad middle of my shotgun rain skill i can't heal apparently okay this is really bad this is really bad uh mm, that's not good okay our shotgun's about to break yeah i gotta run i gotta i gotta go i forgot my laundry in the car wash i gotta go and get it real quick <laughs> oh no dude they were eating through me i'm not gonna lie we did not come equipped with the right weapons luckily we are now equipped with the right weaponry let's make sure that we are at full health and hopefully we can take them out one by one but yeah, the shotgun and the pistol, definitely not the best for highly armored enemies such as those that you were dealing with that also have relatively automatic guns and want to put their bullets into our face. My face was not meant for bullets, it was meant for... Uh, what's something that you put on your face? Uh, uh, face wash! Keep your face nice and clean. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Hello! What's up, Toxic Abomination? Goodbye, Toxic Abomination. You will not be getting any hits off on me today, kind sir. But seriously, I'm looking forward to season two. Hopefully, the ATV and Swamp does somehow tie into it. Because, dude, we've been waiting for that thing for so freaking long. And I just want to finally be able to do something with it. And, okay, hello, my dudes. Hello, hello. How are you, survivor? How did I not damage you at all, my guy? They're both in full health. What? What? How are you both in full health? Oh, I'm naked. Doesn't matter, shotgun rain. Okay, we're good. Woo! I will steal some of your clothes. Thank you, thank you. This is my own personal thrift store. Oh, Dude, not even that bad. I know that it's broken, but the Kalashnikov 47, never something to complain about. And here we got dead dude McGee. Hey, he's got some SWAT armor for us. We got the pistol over there. That's actually a decent durability pistol, so I'm pretty happy that we got this. But yeah, this is probably like, if you don't come well equipped, this is definitely one of the tougher versions of the Oka Forest event. But it also does have some relatively okay rewards if you play your cards right. And all right, let's see... What we got within, I think there might be like one more chest after this. If not, hey, I'll take what this chest has and we'll kind of harvest up the rest. Yeah, there we go, baby. We got 10 oak logs out of that and I don't really think we need a torch, but I'll take it. And are there any more chests on the outskirts of this map? Yes. 
I knew that there'd be one more. Dude, it's a, it's a cute little camp that they got set up. Unfortunately, they had to shoot me when I got too close. So, hey, you mess with me and you get the, the B, B, the BB gun. Yeah, that, that's definitely what we were using, a BB gun. They, they're just playing dead. Yeah, they're not dead. They're just playing it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and grab one of these iron hatchets and hopefully one will be enough for what we're trying to accomplish. Goodbye, binoculars. It is time for auto mode to shine and collect us all the oak that we can. But yeah, seriously looking forward to season two and I'm really crossing my fingers that it does somehow relate to the ATV and swamp. And if not, I mean, I'll be disappointed. Trust me, I'll be disappointed because they've really been hinting towards it and kind of teasing us and they might have been teasing something else after all, but hopefully it doesn't detie in somehow. But even if not, I'm still excited to see what they do bring and even with a little bit of that disappointment sprinkled in there, I'm still pretty hype about it. But all right, I'm gonna go ahead and chop down this oak and I'll talk to y'all when we're home with a little bit of a raid to do. And let's just go ahead and grab this wood and the stone so we can get all of the hatchets we're going to be needing for this raid because after doing a little bit of research into things, I think that there's going to be a good chunk of chest that we got to break our way into, which is never a bad thing if you ask me. But without further ado, we got one blast of shotgun rain, half an M16, half a pistol drizzle, all of which modded to the max. Couple of band-aids in case things get hairy in addition to our first aid kits and then... I wanted, I, wanted to, I wanted to do the backwards button, not the exit button. Uh, and then, I don't know, we got some water. You never know when a man gets thirsty. Star, you dingus, take a freaking shower. Well, you know what? That's, that's very rude. How dare you tell me that I stink? Because, uh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm raiding, and I just want, you know, when these people get back into their base, and they're like, oh, things are gone. And there's going to be a certain smell. A smelly smell. A smelly smell that's smelly in the air and they'll be like oh i know who did this it was uh, carrot top no it was papa star <laughs> all right and then we got access to a couple of more things in the back let's start putting this stuff to use ladies and gentlemen a wide variety of hatchets and multiple rooms that we got to break into and hopefully some armor we'll find because oh four wrenches and a stat okay okay like, it's nothing out of this world, but definitely a solid little start. I'm pretty sure that we can break through this doorway. Knock, knock. Here's a Johnny. Oh, yeah. And then we got, what is this? Uh, seven chests available to us from there. Now, if we go ahead and break down this doorway, we will find ourselves awaiting a couple of more chests on top of that with... There's still about 80 noise to spare. We got two chests. We'll go ahead and break into the ones over here. I want to definitely try and break into the advanced refining furnace. If we can, there should be... Oh. We got some fur and stuff. There's about to be a lot of enemies trying to come and kill me. So I'm going to try and bunch them up all nice and tidy. Because then we'll be able to hit them with a big old blast of shotgun rain. And hopefully do a good chunk of damage to them. And yeet. Let's get a little bit of separation. And let's let the fast biters get close. And let's hit them with a big old blast of shotgun rain. And then switch on over and finish the job with a little bit. Uh, M to the 6 to the teen. Or to the M to the 1 to the 6. There's not a six and then a teen. It's literally like the, the number M, the number one, and then the number six. So I don't know. Either or. Doesn't matter. Zombies dead. Chest broken. Life good. We got some of those. Uh, nothing super amazing in there. Otherwise, I'm not going to grab anything unless it really juts out until we do like a second pass overall. Okay, that's just disappointment. If you guys are ready in this base. Oh. Make sure to burp. No, sorry about that burp there. Dude, do I just burp once a video? Is it just like a gnat? Like, is this like, this has to be a long running meme at this point. I swear. The burps are freaking iconic. And oh, baby. Little bit of aluminium. And never hurt nobody. Couple of rubber parts as well. We can trade those in the chain. Low key, I'm running a little bit low on rocks. Grab a couple of those for now. And then we'll continue breaking in and... I mean, we've gotten some relatively decent stuff, especially with the aluminum bars taken into account. And we still got like over half of the chest to break it. Oh, baby. Big old stockpile of metals for us to have over there. Let's continue kind of stockpiling all of the zombies. And oh, well, it doesn't matter anymore because I guess, right? I do suppose we don't really have our shotgun rain with us to help out anymore. So it doesn't really matter for us to group them up. At this point, it's hunting season, baby. You know what the deer are? The metaphorical deer? Oh, baby. It's fast biters, toxic abominations, and floater bloaters. And then the next wave is going to be all floater bloaters. And also my computer. Computer, are you good, dude? Don't make me freaking run out of bounds or something. That would be disastrous right now. Oh, my God, dude. I'm about to, like, 
Computer, you're good, bro. Now's not the time. Now is not the time. Maybe with the leg spikes, baby. Oh, baby. Come on, come on, come on. We just got this floater blooder we gotta take out. It just keeps on, like, having, like, a little stutter. Okay. Computer, you gotta calm down, bro. You gotta calm down. Okay, I think it's dead. Whew. Crisis, uh, I think, averted for now because, uh, I don't know. I can move fluidly. Okay, bless up that that didn't happen when the big one appeared because that is uh, when the worst thing... Ooh, piece of candy. That is when probably the worst time ever for such a thing to happen. It could happen. We still got four more chests to go and then we should still have plenty of noise to break down that advanced refining furnace. I'm probably taking these home with me because that's stuff that Jane likes. And you know me, I'm, uh, I'm really trying to get Jane on my side here. At least till she gets me that dang at this good... I've been trying so hard for it, man. And oh, baby, you know what else I might need to do over here after we get a little bit of separation from these fellas? Let's go and get that pistol drizzle up in the secondary slot. Let's start dealing with this uh, last wave of zombies before the big one makes his appearance. So then just go ahead and grab all the loot that we can from here. Dude, I love... Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm naked. I don't know about being... I don't know about loving being naked because eh, that leads to death in last day on Earth. Trust me, I tried it against the witch. Would not recommend. Zero out of ten. But, hey, we're here, but I have a nice hat. So that's a nice little consolation, I guess. Let's go and hit one of them dudes with a slow-mo. What? Is he not lagging behind? I missed my slow-mo shot, too. Is everything just not going my way right now, dude? This is freaking whack. Okay, hopefully we can take out this toxic abomination that's leading the way. Goodbye to you. But, yeah, I love the fact that we're doing bonus damage throughout this raid as well, because it is coming in a little bit handy. Like, I'm never a lad to complain about more damage, so... Two thumbs up, in my opinion. Come on, baby. Okay, there we go. Now we actually managed to slow one of them down, so we only got to worry about one toxic abomination. Let's put all the bullets we need into him. We got toxic abomination number two coming our way, and ow! They actually managed to get a hit off on us, but that is the only hit you get, monsieur. Because now it's time for the rest of these chests. We've opened up, I think, what? Everything except for, like, two of them over here? Oh, my God. Is just entering this room? Is that just summon the demons of lag? Like, what's going on, dude? What's going on here? There's got to be some greater force at play. I like the gas, though. That's that's some gas gas, baby. Give me that. What do we have over here in the last chest of this base raid? Unfortunately, no guns. This is not... This appears to be more of a supply raid, not an armory raid that actually gets us that type of stuff. But, hey, at the very least, like, we found a couple of relatively highlight-worthy things up in here. I will say. Uh... But it's mainly that stuff. I don't know. It's a decent raid for a no C4 raid. But in the context of uh, being a raid that we could have used the C4 on, it definitely could have been better. Refined melting furnace is whack. And uh, I don't know how long I want to stay here. I'm going to go ahead and get a single chop into a couple of these things. Because I am curious what a couple of them have. I just really hope that my computer doesn't lag when, you know, the big one decides to make his grand entrance. Besides that, though, Jane likes wires, right? Hopefully. Otherwise, she's just going to be like, what, what, what did you bring to me? I spit on you, star. Thinking I'm a lass. Ooh, shiny. Thinking I'm a lass who likes wires. It too. It too. Like, listen, Jane's the type of girl to do that. You guys have seen how much she disrespects me and my want for a leviathan. She doesn't seem to give a single poop about us, man. <laughs> um, I'll probably get rid of that. No need for that. I'll probably get rid of... I'll grab a little bit of iron, too, so we can craft up some more hatchets always. And besides that, maybe... Eh, I could honestly... No, I don't... Why'd you start chopping? I, I wanted the chest, dude. Why would you chop a wall? Like, why is it even an option to chop a wall when you can access both sides of it? I need answers. I know that there's, like, sometimes real reasons for it, but, like, uh, not now, man. I'm just trying to access the chests. I don't want to chop things down. And honestly, I don't know. Three stacks of rock. I think that'll be a good little balance for us. And then if we find something good in one of these chests, uh, we play it from there. I'm going to devour all of your carrots. Call me Bugs Bunny, baby. I just ate 16 carrots in a row. Um, Don't really care about your paint because that's in like pretty low supplies. If those were like stacks of paint, maybe. So I do want to make sure I have paint for the Leviathan when that time comes. And overall, I guess we could put a couple of things away. This thing's got a couple of slots, right? Yeah, we'll put away some of our precious metals. The machete. That was probably going to be pretty valuable. Actually, hold up. Way, yay, yay, yay. Let's put that into our extra pocket every day. And then... I guess I could put the black rubber parts away. And... The fur. I don't know how valuable the fur is to raiders, but... I'll take it. Let's fill up our gas a little bit. 
Just kind of stack things as much as we can. And without further ado, it might be time for everything to unfold. Dude, this is seriously sketchy. <laughs> like, I'm going to leave a couple of empty inventory slots here as well. Just in case we find something good, we can grab it really quick because the big one, he's about to poop all over our parade. And without further ado, the fateful first shop that sends everything into havoc. Okay, we got nails. I'll take the nails. I'll take the nails. Big one's already over here. Yeah, you know what? I'm just, uh, he's already doing 39 damage. I'm going to leave. I'm sorry. Maybe I should have came with more armor. Okay, but I suppose those two last two wooden chests over there, I thought he would maybe spawn a little bit further away. No, he literally spawned next to the doorway they he was just he was not messing around he wanted us dead and unfortunately i did not want to die because whatever those work punches would have had is not worth the risk of putting this puppy's life in the balance because tactical backpack is bay super well established but with that said with that done that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now thank you guys a whole time for watching have yourself an awesome one and i'll talk to you next one see ya